Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures at Home. So today we have a blizzard going on outside. So it's snowing really hard. Uh, so what I plan on doing is sharpening up my chains. I have uh, the one chain on the saw and I have three additional chains that I need to sharpen up. So I'm going to be using the, uh, the steel uh, manual sharpener. Let's see, here it is right here. So this has been working well for me. So I thought I would just uh, show this to you. Um, and how I do it. Okay, everyone, so what I typically do is mark the, uh, the spot or the, uh, the link that I start from with a piece of chalk. But today I decided I'm going to try using a magic marker and see how that works. So I'm just going to mark this, this link right here. And the chalk gets a little messy. So we'll try this with the, uh, with the magic marker. So again, here's the steel manual sharpener. Um, it's really pretty easy to use. The nice thing about this is that it will also file the, the rakers as you file the, uh, the link. So as I move like this, it will also file uh, the raker down. So basically you give it as much as you need. Um, I would say between five and 10 files. So just keep it level and um, just push right through. So that's, that's three four, five. And again, you want it cat claw sharp. All right, that's very sharp. So let me mark this one again, just to make sure <clears throat> I know where I left off here. So there it is. And I better get my gloves on because these, uh, these get very sharp. So what I typically do is just go to the next link that I want to uh, sharpen. And I try to stay in line with the vise here just because this is relatively sturdy right here. And let's just go one, two, three, four, five. And let me stop for a second. I'll give you a close up of what that looks like. Okay, so here's a close-up of the link I just sharpened up. So, that's what a sharpened link looks like. And let me, let me just move it to the next one that I'll be sharpening. Right there. Okay, so get the gloves back on and I'll continue on. So, on to the third link here. And what you should try to do is sharpen every link with the same number of strokes just to even the wear with, with your chain with all of the links. So this is really pretty easy. And it's a pretty fail safe way of doing it. So when I'm done with this, and it may not be today, I'll go out and I'll 
cut a piece of wood with this. I can just show you what a good job this does. I've considered um, getting a Dremel with a uh, with the file, but this really does the job. So I'm thinking I'm just going to stick with this. And you, you want to just go one way. You don't want to go back and forth. You just push into it. Because the way the file is made, it's made to go one way. So you're just defeating the purpose if you go back and forth. Okay, this is the last one. Then what you want to do is just flip it over. So you loosen the vise and flip it over in the other direction. And you want to keep the saw close to the vise. Just make sure you didn't cut the chain too low or the bar too low or your bar, your chain won't move. So what I'm going to do here, I think this is good. I might just move the vise a little bit to uh, improve the lighting. <clears throat> That's about as far as it's going to go there. Okay, so again, you mark your first link. Um, then you need to change the tool. You want to make sure this is lined up with your bar. And I think I might have the file in backwards on this. So the way this tool works is you can open this up and just slide your your file out. Let me see. Let me just leave this in for a second. All right. All right. Let's try that one more time. It just didn't sound right to me. No, that does not sound right. Yeah, see, this is in backwards. Okay, I got the file going the right way now.
And I think this file probably needs to be replaced. And they don't last forever, so every now and then these need to be replaced. Let me just check it. I think a little bit more. So this side might need more than five passes. It's feeling pretty good. So anyway, I'll continue on. I'll probably fast forward this or put it in uh, fast mode. But anyway, you guys can get the idea how this works. And again, this tool is not, a, a, uh, not that expensive. I bought it on Amazon and uh, It shipped right away so I would highly recommend it okay so here's the uh, the next day where I actually tried out one of the chains so I ended up sharpening four chains and this was the most worn out chain there was not much left of it uh, but this is the one that I, I left on the saw. Uh, so you can see uh, it's, it's cutting very well. Um, this is what you want to see. You want to see big chips and um, filings you know, of, of wood coming out as you cut. And in the next clip here, I'll, I'll do the close-up of, of you know, what the chips look like. So here you can see. So yeah, you should have bigger chunks and shavings like this if you have sharpened your chain correctly. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and hopefully this will help you in sharpening your chainsaw uh, chain. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this content, and have a great day.